Yeah, look what you did. Quick, Maddie, everybody's familiar with Maddie, how beautiful she is. She's a dog we brought on the show. Um, <laughs> after we had her for a few weeks, she was with us, Jay sort of pulled us aside, you know, pulled us together. Sorry, I'm going to tell the story because I think it's funny. But she said, he says, hey guys, look, we got to take this seriously. You know, we have a dog, and, and the last thing I want is for somebody to think that we're some Scooby Doo outfit running around. You know? And so Amy Gruding is sitting back and goes, Jay. We're a group of ghost hunters in a van with a dog. She's like, I have red hair. <laughs> All we need is some blonde guy with an ascot. We basically, we're full The best part is you see Grant standing over to the table or something with her. He looks like freaking shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> he does. <laughs> so, All right, it works out. I love that story. Dude. Go on, guys. We're <laughs> shaggy. <laughs> Okay, sorry, I got All right, next, let's go. All right, Altoona, Pennsylvania. Oh, Guys, this is one of the first, well, this was the first case of air. Very first case show. of air. Yeah. Brenda, she was terrified about her daughter having experiences with, with uh, an apparition that was in the house. She'd hear her daughter arguing back and forth. She'd open her, her daughter's door to find her having a tug of war with a stuffed animal. She'd let go of the animal, and it would just huff it. So she was feeling that her daughter was being threatened, that her daughter was, was just not safe. I can't imagine. It's scary. This was one of the things we caught in the house, so. How many of you guys saw that first episode? Yes, definitely. We'll play it again for you. That really moved the, our client to tears, it really did, you know, because she, um, as much as she wanted to protect her daughter or whatever, she felt bad and, and really sad that um, these spirits there thought that she didn't want them there. And, and it really hit her heart, it brought her to tears for her to think that these poor children, you know, finally found a place they felt comfortable, and now they don't think she wants them there. All right. <clears throat> apparel store out in California sold children's apparel, and uh, they had an employee by the name of Jean who worked there for many years. She passed away. And they, they would come in every day and find all the stuff moved around, organized. And so they thought, well, oh, Jean was haunting the place. She had come back. Well, while we were in there, we were trying to make contact with Jean. And, uh, well, this was the response we got. Say something, but let them know that it's you. Mm -hmm. She That's a scary voice. Mm -hmm. You know, well, you can't really draw any conclusion from that, for all you know. It, it sounds like somebody smoked two packs of cigarettes and drank a thick of vodka. Maybe she did. Okay. Well, maybe. So I can't draw a conclusion, but here. Say something that let them know that it's you. Oh, man. Well, okay. If I, was, yeah, if I had heard that, I probably wouldn't have stayed there, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not alone, but anyways. I like the inflection there, you know. That's a, Obviously, that's another intelligent haunting. It, it can hear what we're saying because we're asking for Gene. And it sounds almost perturbed a bit, you know. There's no Gene here. Stop talking about this crazy Gene person because I'm not Gene. And I like that. It, it shows a little emotion behind what it's saying. All right, Rialto Theater. We saw this episode just yeah. a couple days ago. All right, so while we were investigating, pretty much all teams had great, uh, great experiences. While we're investigating, we're trying to make 